Some people are shocked that I would say you shouldn't sip water all day. We know that hydration is important and I agree 100%. But it is the constant sipping of water that can demineralize your teeth. You can leave your uh, teeth actually to become quite sensitive. And I want to explain the science behind this so that everyone interested will have an understanding. I think today most people fully understand that when we eat and drink, our mouths become acidic. Sugars, carbohydrates, even the foods that we eat, if you're eating a salad dressing, for example, with vinegar, vinaigrette, or uh, fruits, vegetables, lots of things will create acidity in your mouth while you're eating and drinking. And we accept that. And we understand that nature has a way of replenishing those lost minerals if at the end of a meal we have a way of stimulating a flow of healthy saliva back into our mouth because that saliva is full of the minerals that our teeth need to remineralize themselves. And in fact, eating and drinking can be really good for teeth because we break down the enamel somewhat, we demineralize it during our eating and drinking. Don't worry about that. Providing at the end of the meal, you end with a little bit, for example, of xylitol, because that will stimulate the flow of saliva necessary into your mouth to regenerate the enamel, to deposit from the liquid in your mouth, from the saliva, minerals will go back into your teeth, and you will now have younger, stronger, smoother enamel. That's a great thing. This is like working out at the gym. Every time we eat and drink in these sessions, we are damaging our teeth, if you want to look at it that way, just like going to the gym, you damage your muscles, but you do it purposefully because you know afterward, while you're resting and recuperating, providing you give your body the right support, your muscles will regenerate themselves and they'll be younger, stronger. That's how you build muscle. This is how we build enamel. We're eating and drinking and then we're giving our teeth time to regenerate themselves, to regrow the minerals back in enamel that will make the hard outer surface. And that's wonderful. That's when your teeth look white, feel great, and are smooth and shiny. If you drink drinks, you may say, okay, I'm drinking wine, that's acidic, it's bound to be breaking down my teeth, and you're correct. But you look, maybe you're drinking mineral water that's at a pH of 7.4, which you know is the pH of a healthy mouth. So why would that damage your teeth? And it doesn't cause damage. But the problem is if you are drinking water, even mineral water at the exact right pH, that water does not put minerals into your teeth. Your saliva is a super saturated solution dripping with minerals. And when you drink anything, you are diluting, you are thinning this healing liquid. And I think you can do that a few times during the day, but to be constantly sipping. And believe me, I've done Zoom calls where I have seen people on the other end of the call sip at least once every five minutes, if not more. Those people are going to have problems because they are continuously thinning their saliva. It's not necessary for your health to be sipping water that often. I believe it may not even be the healthiest way to drink, and I won't get into that, but I believe that it is for your teeth without question far better to have sessions of drinking and eating. And if you don't want to drink at mealtimes, find some other time, but try not to continuously sip water because you will be thinning the quality saliva that we want to have in our mouths. And on that note, the most important time to be aware of this is when your saliva quality is at its best, and that is in the afternoon hours, from after lunch until the early evening. So if you do go to the gym and want to sip and it's early morning, maybe you accept that as, as part of life. But I would get in the car after I leave the gym and I would certainly be going home and perhaps using my complete mouth care system to give you an extra boost of, of minerals coming into your teeth. Otherwise, it is the daily exposure to these damaging things that tips the balance. And that is why so many people today have sensitive teeth. 
they're noticing gum recession, they're getting periodontal disease, all of these things easily, easily prevented. But you need to begin by stopping eating and drinking between meals as much as you possibly can.